All right, let's talk about what to look for when buying a house. Let's get into it. What are the top six things you should probably consider when buying a house? What are some features you should take a look at? Number one, search for the right price. Number two, prioritize the location you want to buy in. Number three, think long term. And number four, assess the property condition. Number five, don't focus on minor cosmetic details, and we'll talk about that. And number six, stick with your must-haves. You can always go to dnarealtygroup.com slash buy so we can help you out in your home search. Number one, search for the right price. Price will ultimately dictate what you can or cannot buy. Uh, while looking at homes, it's important to not go above your price range or you're going to find yourself really disappointed and it's really not a good use of your time. So make sure you get pre-approved and stay within your budget. Number two, prioritize the location. Sometimes you have to pay attention to the community. If you have kids, you have to pay attention to the school district. And if you're remote, pick some locations that may be further from the city where you may be able to save a little bit more money on the property. You may consider if you want land and different things like that. Number three, you have to think long term. If you plan to expand your family in the near future, you got to make sure you have extra bedrooms and maybe some space to put an extra bathroom, okay? Potential to personalize the property. Many buyers look for a home that's move-in ready so they can't av avoid the costly repairs, but don't overlook things like paint, simple things that can make the house look a lot better. Make sure you pay attention to your lifestyle and your amen amenities um, you probably envisioned what you want to look like or what you want to live like and if you like cooking and you maybe you want the size of the kitchen will be really important to you if you like being outdoors maybe a yard will be really important to you so just sit down and think about what it is that's really important to you when buying a property number four assess the property condition you can get a move-in ready home or you can get a home that needs minor updates don't overlook things such as paint. However, as a first-time buyer or as a buyer in general, you may not want to buy a house that needs a lot of work, okay? Like big ticket items, you know? Maybe there are structural problems. Maybe the property needs a whole new deck and you probably don't want to get involved in something like that. So stick to things that are going to be minor fixes that you can do, okay? Don't focus on minor cosmet cosmetic details. That would be number five, right? So paint, hardware, furnishing, landscaping, all those things can be updated fairly quickly and it's not doing a full gut renovation, which makes it super easy for you to buy and maybe save some money in the process. Number six, stick with your must-haves, okay? There's practicality and then there's functionality and there's a big difference in between what your wants are and what your needs are. And for your first home, you may have to compromise or on some homes, you just may have to compromise. What a need could be, like a shorter commute, specific number of bedrooms, parking spaces, and what a want could be. You may want an updated kitchen but that means you gotta pay premium for the house. Therefore, just get a kitchen with a good size and you can always update it later. If you want a washer and dryer upstairs, you can always put that in later. So those are just some things you can take a look at and consider when you're buying your house. As always, you can go to dnarealtygroup.com slash buy and we will help you with all your buying needs.